right now. I gotta be quiet. I gotta hurry. Cause uh, I think there's a way station right down there, and I think it's manned for the other companies that are here. Not entirely sure what this is. Looks like it's fenced off though. The place is huge. Okay, I don't think that way station populated. I think we might be in. Not entirely sure. But maybe. I just gotta get out of sight now. Those freaking pond things. I don't know what that is. Some kind of reservoir. Okay, let's see what we got here. I mean, it looks abandoned. If you ask me, maybe that side is definitely exposed. A place that sells RVs or something. That's interesting. We're probably gonna get kicked out of here in a minute. It's not as abandoned as I thought it would be. Looks like it might have been some kind of loading dock. Now it's submerged. if these doors are open or not. I just looked through the window on the door. It's a warehouse. They're storing stuff here. I don't know what's being stored in there. It's just a, like some stuff wrapped in shrink wrap on like in plastic on pallets. But it was definitely organized. Yeah. They just drove by. That was part of an office, looks like. This was a ladder. Ladder went up to the roof at some point. Well, it's open. Hey, it's well. of something. It's a lot of bags. It's just this very fine black dust on the ground. It's really all over everything. Like if this stuff is still in use, I'm not going to touch any of it, obviously. This stuff is slick, too. It's like ice. the first aid room. It's just a workshop. Huh. Interesting. And that's electrical. I don't even know if this place still has electrical. I mean, it very well could. Vehicles in here are new. All right, 
Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving. The hangar looks empty. Yeah, it's empty. There are some bigger type structures over here just setting out in the open. Let's take a look at them real quick because I don't know what this stuff is. This is old too. Hazardous materials maybe? Yeah, I think this was. It's like an outbuilding where they stored hazardous materials. obviously part of the old operation so it looks like maybe a reservoir filled with water looks deep too so I'm thinking this was for loading or something that giant wheel machine thing up there it's freaking cool well pretty neat stuff Yeah, some kind of reservoir in those. I guess that's some kind of FEMA thing or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's kind of weird. Kind of creepy. This place is busy for a nothing in the middle of nowhere. All kinds of cars and trucks driving around. Cars should be okay there. All right, if you remember the flat tire thing where I had a flat tire, well, this was the hike that I was on my way to do when I had the flat tire. Came back to do it, it's a little late in the day Oh yeah, we're climbing already. Right on. <laughs> I had to go to the grocery store, not by choice. I tend to put that off for as long as I can get away with because I absolutely hate it. It's my least favorite thing to do in the whole world. So it might get dark on us, don't know. But I'm gonna climb up here and see what's what. <laughs> on Google Maps, it looked like a bunch of cleared off land is what it looked like to me like an old mining operation i think there actually might be still some mining going on but there's not a lot of signage and there wasn't a gate so i'm gonna walk up here and see what this is and it looked like there might have been a good view at the very top top looks like they just forced a road cut all the way through here yeah we're up there though and I think over there is where we might be going. Maybe it's a little uppy. What are you gonna do, you know? What the crap is this? Somebody made a flag, apparently. Oh, it's to mark the pothole, I bet. It's like a total cave-in, actually. The road caved in. Yeah, we're climbing, man. Still climbing a little bit. I think we're getting near the top, though. Somewhat. <laughs> those are a little bit higher over there. Those mountains. If that's in fact where we're going, I don't know. If it is or not. But we're getting to the top of this one, it looks like. Cassidy Lane private property gated we don't need to go that way anyway but might need to take a right up here because I think there might be some ruins of a building over here let's see what this is it looks like we're heading into cleared off territory 
I hear an engine behind me somewhere. So I'm trying to hurry up and get over this. Holy hell, this is freaking awesome, man. Wow. Yeah, it's just cleared off completely. There's cows over there. Okay, GPS says big top. That's it over there. It looks like 0.93 miles to where I marked. I called it big top. I don't think it has a name. I just labeled it that. Okay, that's not ruins. That's a house. And the chimney has smoke coming out of it. So somebody lives there. So I'm not going by that house, that's for sure. I'm gonna go back down to the main road and take a right. It goes to the same place. I'm not walking past that house, that's for sure. You live way out here like this for a reason. <laughs> definitely not into people so me just randomly walking through their driveway not a good look how the hell do they even live out here like this must be their driveway like they definitely have four-wheel drive it will turn right up here keep going over there it looks like they cut through that mountain calved off the side of it and there's some equipment up here I can see through the trees and you can see where they cut through that made a cliff that's really cool yeah they cut all that out that's wild looking get up close to it here in a minute it looks like like that's an active work site or whatever so i don't want to mess with any other stuff plus they might have security because they got a lot of stuff there big dump trucks and there's somebody out here on an atv that's for sure. I still hear it behind me. Yep, here he comes. Oh, they're hunters. Right on. Check out that graveyard. This one was not on the map. Yeah, two ATVs just passed me. I didn't even stop. <laughs> they didn't even look at me twice. So that's going cool. Yeah, this isn't that old. It's not locked. I mean, some of them are pretty old though. Look at those crosses. And then these are just rocks. Yeah, this one is not listed. It's pretty cool. That was a like a one-year-old. Born 1940, died 1941. Armilda. That one's died 1909. Wow. Born 1902. Tolliver. Yeah, middle of nowhere, man. This is a mom. And her two twins. Born 1872, died 1911. And infant twins born and died 1911. She must have died during childbirth, I guess. Kind of sucks. 1903 to never. You're still alive? Born in 1903? There's no death date. Wow, this one's born in uh, 49, died 2019. He's U.S. Navy. Yeah, United States Navy flag. Put that back up for him. Because that doesn't go on the ground. Neither does the American flag obviously even though he's Navy still put him back up there's a picture of him born 1941 died 1942 man they got like a whole thing there wow there you go whole graveyard kind of neat even with the Navy guy hell nobody's perfect I think this little road's gonna take us where we wanna go. People ride horses back here a lot, apparently. A lot of horse poop, a whole lot. Looks 
like we might be able to get a good view from this little ridge of that operation. Apparently the horses have the same idea. while too. I don't know what they're looking for, if it's just gravel or what, but whatever it is, they're getting a lot of it. It's just freaking awesome. Wow. That's where I want to be right there. Point two eight that way. Howdy. Down this way? Um, I'm just going to that ridge. Is that cool? Like, when I come back, I can cut down through there and come up that way. Alright, sounds good. Sorry. All right, thank you. No problem, man. Alright, they said they're going to be shooting, I think they're sighting rifles in. So I'm just going to pop up to the top of this mound real quick. He told me they were going to be shooting down into the valley. When I come back, I'll just take that spy out. Or so. <laughs> Hi. Other horse says down there. I'll take this little road up. Or not really a road, actually. It's a freaking gully. That's cute. Yeah, doing some climbs today. More horse shows. I feel kind of bad for going up to the mound because they're waiting on me. Relax, horsos, I ain't coming for you. Little baby horse. Can't even see the top of that mountain. It's in the clouds. Look, overcast, whatever. You can keep shooting, man. My ears are shot anyway. Hit the first hose if they didn't blow up. Where are they at? We're shooting at that farthest biggest rock. Yeah, I see it. Now. Hit that side of it. You got a YouTube channel or? Yeah. Are you from here? Uh, not originally. We, I just moved here like two years ago to Barberville. I just saw this place on Google Maps, man. It looked cool, so I thought yeah. I'd come over. Yeah, there's a lot of them right here. It's old strip job, it looks like. Yeah. Looks like they cut through the whole side of that freaking mountain, man. Yeah. What are they looking for? I guess cold. What do you guys got? A 270s or 30? He's going to shoot again. Yeah, go for it. it. Think I can hit it with a Glock? Go for it. That first big rock there. I shot it with my Glock. Where? The one right beneath us? Yep. I'm going to go for the one you guys are going for. <laughs> He <laughs> yeah, ain't hitting that thing. <laughs> what did he hit? No idea. <laughs> yeah. You probably couldn't even see if it did hit. You want to shoot one of these? Yeah, oh yeah, I'll give it a shot. This is a 6.5. Yeah. Mind holding that, it doesn't matter where you point it, it's a 360, so. Ready? 
said orange target on that rock? Yeah. Close. <laughs> it's a rock at least. Yeah. yeah. It, you hit right below. Right. How far did I say it was? Yeah. It's like it's 470 yards, I believe. I think that's what you said. It is right around 470. Hell <sighs> oh, yeah. Thanks, man. I guess hand me my shells, bud. <laughs> You got a tanner right in it or something? Yeah. Yeah, the mother dude didn't blow up. Ooh. Getting closer. Yeah. I ain't about four foot high right there. Holy <laughs> shit. Ooh. He hit it. Busted it off the face. He hit it. <laughs> 470 yards. I mean, I saw brown dust, so. Yeah, it just annihilated it. Hit one right there in the bottom, and another one on that biggest rock down there, and it didn't do nothing. To none me. of them went off. Shot that many shells at it, it didn't <laughs> blow up. Well, you did hit it. Is yeah. that? I'm gonna start heading down before I get caught in the dark. Damn four. Guys, have a good one. Oh, that was pretty cool. Got to shoot a six five. Never shot a six five creek more. Pretty cool gun. He did hit the. Tannerite and uh, it annihilated the Tannerite. I did not know that. There were some rounds that were too big for Tannerite. All right, we gotta get down this mountain before it gets dark. Probably won't make it before dark. It's starting to get a little chilly. I'll pick up the pace. Had a little bit uphill, now it's all down. Two car. I just gotta watch it, it'll slip in the mud, bust my ass. We're yeah, coming down the uh, steep hill part now. GPS says we're 0.24 straight line, but we got a couple switchbacks up here. That was one switchback back there. There's another one. Yeah, we're going down quick. Wow. What we were looking at earlier, that ridge, that's the top of where they're operating right now. The excavation, coal, whatever it is, I don't know. That was not where we went. Where we went was to the right of that. Right, made it down. Good hike though. <laughs>